Okay, so now we're going to answer these questions. Uh, when my input increases by a factor of 2, my output increases by a factor of what? Okay, so in order to answer that, I need to go to my data table. All right, or you could go to your graph and look at the mathematical relationship. Uh, but just for the sake of clarity, let's choose two numbers where it increases by a factor of 2. So let's say um, I'm looking at uh, my input is 3, and I'm going to increase by a factor of 2. All right, that would mean I end up with 6. So my first launch height was 3, and my second launch height was 6. So when I do that, does my time increase by a factor of 2? Well, the answer is no, because 0 0.78 times 2 does not give me 1.11. So, so what is my factor, right? What is this multiplier if it's not 2? Well, because I have a square root relationship, right, the equation of the graph that passes through this, let's actually go back to uh, get our equation. If you go down here, you'll see y equals 0 0.4512 0 0 times the square root of x. So this is a square root function, right? So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and write that, write that in here. Y equals 0 0.45. I kind of ran out of room. Let's move it over. Y equals 0 0.45. I think it was 1, 2, we'll go just round off, times the square root of x. It's a square root function. So what this means is when your input right, increases by a factor of 2, your output only increases by a factor of square root of 2. Okay. So when this value right here goes up times 2, your y value goes up by a factor of square root of 2. And we can actually see that. We can test it out. So if we come over here and we multiply by the square root of 2, let's try it out. 0 0.78 times radical 2, right? I'm going to grab my calculator and multiply it out. It might be off by a tiny bit because the, the data from the lab might have rounded off for time. But if you actually multiply it times... Sorry, make sure I'm getting the same values as you guys. 0 0.78 times 2 square root. I got 0 0.8. I did something wrong. Let's do 2 square root first. 2 square root, get 1.414 times 0 0.78, 1.10. I got 1.0, 1.10 seconds. So... Now, that's not exactly 1.1, but it's really close. So there's just a little bit of rounding, right? When we said the, the, the cannonball hits the ground at 0 0.78 seconds, maybe it was actually 0 0.776 or something like that. All right. So the bottom line is when it goes up by, when the input goes up by a factor of 2, the output goes up by a factor of square root of 2, right? We can verify that another time. Uh, let's go look at our our data over here, if we say 6 to 12, let's study that relationship right there, right, because we're increasing by, from 6 to 12, we're increasing the input by a factor of 2, uh, so in this case, what happens to 1.11? Well, if we take 1.11 times square root of 2, we should get 1.56. Let's grab our calculators, clear, 2 square root, 1.414 times 1.11, and I got 1.57, right? 1.57, which again is really, really close to 1.56. So what are we finding out? We found out that our, as our input increases by a factor of two, so we can actually say, when delta x, y increases by a factor of two, the time doesn't also double, but increases by a factor of, so I ran out of space here, radical 2. All right. What, what data points from table support this statement? I can use any of the points I just talked about. Uh, I just did 6 and 12, and I think I had 1.11 and 1.56. 
1.56. Don't forget, it's always x comma y, x comma y. So those are my two different data points that support that. Sorry, I kind of ran out of space right there. Okay. So similarly, increasing by a factor of three would mean you're using data points. You're going from, you know, instead of going from six to 12, you can't, that wouldn't be, that would be a factor of two. Factor of three would mean three to nine, right? Three times three gives you nine. So that's increasing by a factor of three. So in this case, what you'll see is that the values for, the value for 0.78 doesn't increase by a factor of two, or square root of two, it's just this time it'll be the square root of three. And we can verify that 0 0.78 times the square root of three. Grab the calculators. Three square root gives you 1.732. Multiply that by 0 0.78 and you get 1.35. which is what you get for nine. So again, it's a square root function. So the output increases by the square of the factor of the input.